Right-wing groups say Israel's crackdown on Palestinians is on the rise. According to figures released by the Palestinian Prisoners Society, Israeli forces arrested nearly 550 Palestinians in November alone. The group says the highest numbers of arrests were made in Hebron al Khalil and occupied Jerusalem al Quds. The society also says Israeli forces have made the arrests over what they describe as security reasons. This proves that Israel has a plan to carry out as part of its war against the Palestinian people. One of the war's aspects is to carry out arrests. We witnessed an escalation of arrest operations not only in November, but also throughout the year. It seems that Israeli forces are trying to keep the number of Palestinian prisoners in Israeli jails high, and the excuse is always the same. Those who are being arrested represent a threat on the security of this occupying state. Human rights organizations also say that dozens of minors were also detained last month mainly in Jerusalem Al-Quds. The city has witnessed the rise in tensions and clashes between Israeli forces and Palestinians over Israel's strict measures on the Holy City and against the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The right organizations also say that many of the released minors were subsequently forced to pay fines or put under house arrest. Israel knows very well that the arrests will not break the will of the youths and teenagers to continue resisting Israeli occupation. This is why after many of the prisoners are released, they are put in house arrest, and in many cases they have to pay high fines. But the Palestinians assert that all Israeli plans against the Palestinians will ultimately fail. Meanwhile, several decisions have been taken by Tel Aviv in order to legalize arresting Palestinians. Harsher measures are also in the making of Palestinian protesters and stone throwers.